Welcome to MYS in Studio. For this week's Grade Stage Recaps, I'm Joe Rulin, along with Jeremy Ennis. This past weekend not only marked the final weekend of the 2023 Grade State Tournament, it also represented 7th and 8th grade high caliber competition across many basketball courts and communities. That is correct, Joe. This past weekend we had eight communities that hosted our events and a total of 651 games. Our host groups were Bloomington Jefferson, Elk River, Farmington, Maple Grove, Monticello, Park Cottage Grove, Rogers, and STMA. They really did a wonderful job to make this experience wonderful for the participating teams, and we really appreciate the efforts that they put in. 25 champions were crowned, and of those 16 of the teams, claimed championships were from outside the Twin Cities metro area. Rochester took home five titles throughout a variety of 7th and 8th grade tiers. Meanwhile, Moorhead, who also captured a championship, captured them at both the 7th and 8th grade tier 2. Now, let's jump to 7th grade competition, which consisted of 13 tiers. Tier 1 included 16 teams. This took place at the Maple Grove Middle School. The championship game had Champlin Park versus Apple Valley, led by coach Evan Davis. Both teams exchanged 15 lead changes throughout the game before it went to overtime. That's when Owen Shornstein, the recipient of a good ball rotation, hits this game winner to give Champlin Park the win. Hey, we get a moment here quickly with Owen Shornstein picking up that game winner with about two seconds left. Uh, Tell me about that experience. You know, felt pretty good. You know, I mean, our team carried carried us all the way over here. You know, I just want to thank my team pretty much, and they just pulled, pushed through, and we got the dub. Yeah. What did that feel like? I've never hit the game winner. What did that feel like for you? Felt like I don't know. I just I don't know. I can't can't really describe it. It just felt so good. Champlain Park head coach John Howe had this to say about their win. That was a lot of back and forth. Uh, both teams battled very hard. Uh, very proud of my boys. They they held together. They ran the plays right. They looked for the open man and it ended up in a buzzer beater. Now let's pivot to Jeremy Ennis for more seventh grade updates. Thank you, Joe. In our seventh grade tier two, we had Moorhead Black defeating Casson Manorville. In seventh grade tier three, Rochester Mayo Gold defeated Shakopee for the championship. Seventh grade tier four, Osseo Maple Grove defeated Big Lake. And seventh grade tier five, Piers Red knocked off Glencoe Silver Lake. In seventh grade tier six, Red Wing Purple beat Roseville in the championship game. Seventh grade, tier seven, Rochester Century Navy defeated Elk River. In seventh grade, tier eight, Brainerd White, representing the 218, beat Monticello to take home the championship. Seventh grade, tier nine, Rochester Lourdes Gold defeated Eden Prairie. In seventh grade, tier 10, we had Owatonna Silver over Buffalo. In seventh grade, tier 11, Rockford Green knocked off Rogers. In seventh grade, tier 12, Armstrong Blue defeated Bloomington Jefferson. And to round out our seventh grade tournament, we had in tier 13, Rochester Mayo Green over St. Louis Park. Well, Jeremy, some great competition kind of throughout up and down seventh and eighth grade. Meanwhile, 2,682 games were played this about this year over the three weekends of grade state tournament. I think the one thing that's impressive is the competitive balance involved with each of these uh, teams. I couldn't agree more, Joe. And that's one of the things that makes this tournament special is that there's a spot for every team. Uh, regardless of your record, of your win percentage throughout the season, with our online seating process that we've had in place for four years now, um, we're really able to get a nice competitive balance and give those community-based basketball teams a very competitive experience in this culminating tournament. Thanks for joining us, Jeremy. Let's now pivot to eighth grade competition. 
Wah with the rebound, and that's going to do it. And Champlain Park and the Rebels, they win the championship. Tier 1, 8th grade state championship here in Bloomington. Congratulations to the Rebels on the championship victory. Wow, that's some high octane energy and athleticism going on. And that was, again, championship four, grade eight, tier one. Congratulations to Champlain Park, the winner. Meanwhile, I'm joined now in studio by Akua. And Akua, boy, you were there firsthand for much of that eighth grade action. Yes, I was. Tier one was held at Jefferson High School in Bloomington. The top 16 teams in eighth grade were there. Great energy, great ball players. Look forward to seeing a lot of those kids playing in the Big Ten, ACC, the Pac-12, you name it, they should be there. Well, there's certainly talent that we'd like to see more of, but certainly let's unveil a lot of the success that a lot of these teams had at each tier of this uh, grade eight competition. Yes. Our tier one winner was Champlain Park Navy. Tier two winner, Moorhead Black. Tier three winner, Elk River Black. Tier four winner, Rochester Century Navy. Tier 5 winner, Owatonna Blue. Tier 6 winner, Zimbroda Mazeppa Blue. Tier 7 winner, Mankato West Red. Tier 8 winner, Orno Red. Tier 9 winner, Owatonna Silver. Tier 10 winner, Fairbaugh. Tier 11 winner was Egan 3. And last but not least, Tier 12 winner, South St. Paul. Congratulations to all the 8th grade participants. Special thanks to Chevy Heartland Dealers. Boy, and you know, this season with great state tourney just continued to elevate and amplify in terms of the numbers of teams, but the games at 2,682 games played across at such a competitive level, almost 85% of all those games played were within 15 points or less at competition. I should mention you saw a lot of that firsthand this weekend. Yes, I did. And I'll have to give a special thanks because for these eighth grade young men, this was their last go around to participate in the NYAS Great State Championships. A lot of these young men we'll see at the high school levels. For some of them, good luck in your future. And remember, you started playing in the Great State Championships. Thank you. Hey, and what a wrap it has been this season. The third consecutive weekend for Great State finally marks its end, but the success uh, that has been achieved. Congratulations to all the champions and all those who participated and all of the communities involved. Thanks for joining us on this in-studio NYS presentation and this being the Great State Recaps coming your way.